On a cold winter day, sometimes there's nothing better than a good hot buttered rum. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, as the weather gets cold and it starts getting close to the holidays, what you really want is a nice warm drink. And for some reason, a lot of bars don't really focus on the warm drinks. When you ask for a warm drink, it's going to be some sort of coffee cocktail of some sort. Uh, Irish coffee, coffee nudge. I don't know about you, but myself, caffeine late at night is not really what I'm wanting. I'm wanting something different, something better. A hot buttered rum sometimes sounds like just the ticket. The problem is, most often, the recipes you're going to see for hot buttered rum call for pre-making a batter mix that you're going to use, which calls for some extra thought ahead of time, which a lot of bars aren't going to have a chance to do. Instead, I'm going to show you how to make a hot buttered rum that any bar should be able to make at the drop of a hat. Let's take a look. We're going to start off with a preheated coffee mug. Any type, size, shape of mug will work. To that, we're going to put about a teaspoon's worth of butter into it. You can adjust the butter as you want to it. I mean, if you want to put less or more, that's perfectly fine. What the butter is doing here is adding a nice, wonderful, silky mouthfeel to the drink that it really wouldn't have if you didn't include the butter. We're then going to add about two teaspoons worth of brown sugar. You can use regular white sugar, you could use simple syrup, you could use demerara sugar. Essentially, you want a nice sweetening ingredient. I find brown sugar works well because of the molasses in it adds just that much more flavor. We're now going to add hot water, about five ounces or so. What we're going to do is use this to melt the butter, or dissolve the sugar, blend those flavors together. We're just going to stir it until everything's dissolved. Often for the butter, restaurants might have those little teeny pats of butter that's been, you know, almost at room temperature. They melt really well. When you pull the butter fresh out of the refrigerator, it might take a little bit more work to get it to melt properly. Now that we've got that done, quite, quite frankly, at this stage, it's an excellent drink for someone that's not interested in alcohol at all, but we're going to add some alcohol. In our case, we're going to add some Mount Gay Extra Old Rum, again, to add some extra hit of flavor that you're going to find in an extra aged rum like this. I'm going to add two ounces. And then on top of that, we're going to take and add some grated nutmeg. as well as some cinnamon. Now for, for cinnamon, you could just use regular powdered cinnamon, but what I'm going to do is take a, a stick of cinnamon and grate that as well. You want to use a separate grater for this than you do with your nutmeg because you don't always want those two flavors together. And there we have a wonderful cold weather drink, the hot buttered rum. Let's see this return again this season.